Hi, this is Highbury's Motorhomes, Devon Branch, and on this fine uh, late October day, uh, we are doing our monthly vlog, but we're doing it for November, in fairness to it, because it's a nice day. Uh, we spent all day today lining up all of our freshly arrived stock. There's been a lot of changes with a week after NEC, so I thought I'd do the November vlog uh, just a week early, and probably by the time you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be November anyway, so that's November 22 if you're watching an old video. So we are Highbridge Motorhomes at Devon, just off the A38 in South Devon, funnily enough, between Exeter and Plymouth, nice and accessible. Uh, so we do have a little walk around, see what's new, which is a lot of stuff in Furness to it, things have changed a little bit now, and have a quick chat about what's going on. So new van wise, we always start with the new van wise. Um, every month I harp on about the difficulties of getting new vans, now obviously last week uh, most of the industry decamped to the halls of the uh, NEC in Birmingham uh, selling new vans so availability uh, varies a lot depending on manufacturer um, some are getting slightly better some are worse some you don't really know so looking at the new vans that we've got on site I'm not sure if this Wild Axe Proteus demo was here last month but I love this uh, burnt orange colour um, from Ford, so it's uh, Ford Transit Custom, short wheelbase, Wild Axe Proteus from Wild Axe, who are one of our best selling brands down here, and this is our display model. Um, chassis supply with Ford, like all the others, has been patchy, but Wild Axe assure us that they do have uh, quite a good number of chassis for these, and the longer Triton with the toilet and shower at the back coming through. So we'll be keeping this one for display, and if anybody wants to order one, um, we've got a range of, of chassis available for not too far into next year, sort of early summer, late spring, before they sell out quite quickly. So this is a short wheelbase pop top four berth camper from Wild Axe, who are part of Westphalia, of course, have been doing Ford campers for years. You've got a triple seat belt in the back and it slides on runners. Um, this one's automatic, which most people go for with the leather seats and the diesel heating, and the price point of these is 65. Main competitors, the Swift Monza or Sleeper Air is much more expensive. Swift Monza are slightly more expensive and these are every bit as good, if not better. Other Wild Axe um, display models, we've got a Europa with the N-Lounge, um, which is one of our best sellers. Um, chassis availability of these, manual and auto, there is a little bit for, for springtime. So if you're interested, get in touch quick, come and have a look at this one. Six metre Aurora Leisure demonstrator there um, that's the end lounge with a front single dinette you can get in six or 6.3s all of these have got individual um, videos on YouTube as well so if you want to see them we can send you a link Hillside Hopton end lounge on the crafter we've also got a very slightly used Hillside Birchover classic short wheelbase um, we'll be getting a brand new demonstrator one of them soon we've got multiple chassis of those on order VW supply situation is a little bit sparse but we should see some next year uh, this isn't new it's a Sun Living C65 SL but it's uh, this year's one and that's available for sale but the big change is we've had these compasses arrive so these are the first 2023 vans we've seen coming through now and we've got four some of these are actually for sale now you will struggle folks to buy a motorhome today off a dealer's forecourt that's actually for sale um, I sold some of the ones which were available at the NEC but there are a couple of these which are actually available and you can buy them uh, and with Peugeot Compass seem to procure some chassis which are coming through quite soon so if you are quick you can actually procure a factory fresh one of some of these models um, quite quickly I'll do individual videos on these models as well but as a quick overview there's the Navigator 120 which is narrow body six meters with an end lounge this is one of the best sellers. Navigator range has a panoramic roof light and the blue sides. I'm doing these prices from memory. Oh, hopefully somebody's locked it. But these are, depending on spec, um, upper 60s. Yeah, mid 60s, upper 60s. Um, check the website from Compass. So you have two berth end lounge, narrow body. Really popular. I've got a few of these available in the not too distant future. And this one here to, uh, to have a look at. We've got a couple of different specs we can offer you as well. This is the interesting one, uh, which I'll be doing uh, an individual video on very soon. It's the all new for 2023 Avant Garde 115, two berth low profile. These are narrow, not as narrow as a Navigator, but the narrow in the competition. This is changed for this year because it's 6.15 metres long instead of 5.7 because of the wheelbase is now a medium wheelbase. Still very practical. 
very reasonably priced. This one to this spec with minimal factory options is 57. I've got a couple of these going into build shortly with a slightly higher factory spec, which will still be sub 60, which for a 2023 model uh, van is, is a good price in fairness to it. These were very popular at the show. We've literally just parked these up today. Someone's left the side doors locked, but you'll see in here, it's a twin sofa lounge with an end kitchen. So a simple layout, two berth, not cluttered. Twin sofas will make single beds now. That's the difference with this year's 115 because it's slightly longer. You've got longer sofas. So most people will be able to make single beds without using the cab seats. For those taller people, you can still spin the cab seats around. Uh, so these two aren't for sale, but I've got fresh ones going into build in the near future. So if you're interested, um, get onto us quick for any of these. Compass Avantgarde 185, this is the only one of these I've got for the year. Um, somebody very nearly bought it at the NEC. It will sell quite quick. Again, not too wide. This one's 7.3 metres long. These ones are 65.793 to this spec, but I, do, I don't have any backup ones, so it's buy this one or, or that's it, basically. Um, twin sofa front lounge with seat belts. Twin single beds at the back with a full width end bathroom. Three and a half tonne. I can't think of anybody else doing this layout anymore. Everybody used to do it. It's a caravan layout. Popular with caravanners switching over. Um, good news. Lots of floor space. Good for people with dogs. Uh, only one I've got for the year because they, they've given us very limited allocation due to the chassis supply issues. Six berth Compass Avantgarde 196. Three and a half tonne. Six berth, six seat belts. Always a good seller. This one again with minimal cab spec or factory spec 66.6. We can fit whatever you want to these. I think I've only got two of these for the year, so this one is for sale if you wanted it, along with the 185. So big front lounge, drop down front bed, and a spacious end lounge. Not too wide for the roads, three and a half tonne with a workable payload. So that's the Compass Avantgarde 196. So the 196, the 185 are for sale. Anybody thinking of buying a new van? The chassis prices are going up massively in April, so there's going to be another big price increase from most manufacturers in April. So I can't stress it enough if ever you want to buy a new van you can get one before April for delivery to dealer just grab it because it's instantly these vans at these prices will be going up 8% and that's that's a lot of money that's another what's what's that another five six thousand pounds so anything you can buy at these prices if it's the right time for you just grab it show some 656 just come in brand new it's a 2022 model came down from our somerset branch uh, it's got awning solar panel on the fiat chicato x8 this is a first line one it's a seven berth bunk bed van at three and a half ton uh, with six seat belts got the digital dash which is really cool and all the x8 differences and then we've got a double dinette a single dinette and big end bunks separate shower turn that all into a horseshoe shaped lounge if you like as well family friendly van good for renting out as well if you want to make some money on the side when you're not using it um, storage at the back as well only seven meters long three and a half ton and that's available uh, straight away uh, price on that about sixty nine thousand. now looking into used um, we've actually got a good bit of used around us now that's why we've been busy out here we've been busy buying had some part exchanges come in so we'll have a look around these now but this is the best stock we've had in a long time and it should all start selling pretty quick if you want to buy a van from us you don't want to pick it up this year you want it in january that's fine in fairness sir. just put a deposit on it we're booking into december anyway um you want it in february put a bigger deposit down we'll hold it for you so grab your vans now while they're around this has just come in today it's a six meter narrow body Heimer on the transit front wheel drive 140 130 horsepower six big gearbox I would expect we'll see inside silver lines so it's all silver really good looking van 30 odd thousand miles popular layouts so you've got a front half dinette this will hash into a single bed twin swivel cab seats high transverse rear bed over a garage and a bathroom that you can sort of make into a semi-separate shower uh, all in six meters narrow body um 32 and a nine five for a hymer on a 10 plate i think this is it's good news actually in fairness i think it's a nice buy for someone walking down the used one some of these will have been here last time it's nec the industry lulled a little bit so um this wasn't here last time i think uh, end washroom big two bear three and a half ton eldest sun seeker 175 it's a model that's been discontinued but there's a demand for these and the Sunseeker Dealer Special gives you panoramic roof, all sorts of bells and whistles on it. 
Another two berth low profile auto crew stargazer. This is a nice thing at 29.95. It's only done 24,000 miles. Big twin sofa lounge end kitchen. We've got a very slightly used one of those um, bunk bed chaussons. Um, exactly the same as the other one, 22 model year, but it's had had a couple of three grand's worth of options fitted to it. It's more or less the same price as the brand new one, maybe a grand less. Um, but it's got some bits on it, so and once that one sells, this one will look cheap. Next one along, we've had loads of interest in this 3,000 mile end lounge auto trailer Apache 634. Um, just not quite sold, don't know why. It's a, not a bridesmaid, it's a good buy, but um, know, every, every time we just hit the post on it. Auto trailer Apache 632, that's came in since the last one of these videos a few weeks ago. Another big, comfortable British traditional touring weapon. Not too big, so we've got a mid size transverse rear bed which is unusual big fridge freezer nice separate shower in the bathroom and a comfortable twin sofa front lounge with capacious cabinet work all curved all the way around it really nice condition really nice van priced at 56.95 it's a 2019 it's the cheapest one around we do internet price check our vans and if we're not the cheapest around then there's a reason for it basically so uh, that'll be because it'll be an automatic or lower mileage or special um, now we also prep our vans, I think, uh, pre-sale or at sale to a higher level. Eldest Sunseeker 185, so that's the second hand version of the new one that's over there. So that new, um, not particularly massive factory spec, 185 was 65. Uh, this one's 18 months old, higher spec 57 than 95, again available straight away. This one is a bridesmaid, this Roller Team T-Line 743, automatic, should have sold, nearly sold it about 10 times, uh, always hit the post on it, but met a gentleman at the show who just paid four grand more for one of these at the same age, so someone needs to buy that. Auto Sleeper Fairford 9-speed auto, panel van conversion, four berth, four seat belts, rare, very desirable with the Fiat Auto, 66 and 95. it's the same price as all the manual ones I could find of the same age, so that is a great buy for someone, real high spec as well, solar, Wi-Fi, hub aircon. Another nearly new, or new-ish, van conversion, N lounge, two berth, Auto Trail V-Line 635, again with a nine speed auto, um, these were just starting to see the odd one off, pop up used, it's another one that we've nearly sold a couple of times, Big lovely end lounge, simple layout, twin swivel cab seats, not boxed in at the back. The 636 gives you a big fridge freezer, but it's very restrictive for cab, whereas you can get more leg room in the cab. Swivel both your cab seats for this one. 59.95, very good news. And we've got loads more coach books. We've got a French bed, fixed bed, globe car just come in, German van with a fixed side bed. Quite an unusual layout, but plenty of storage underneath of it. This is 39.95, very high quality. So we've got a central washroom that disappears when you're not using it and a really big longitudinal side bed, uh, twin swivel cab seats, very German, very capable and not a bad thing at all at 39.95. Bunk bed shows on Flash S3, 6 metres, we've had it for ages, don't know why. Bessicar 460 there, this is a friend of ours we've sold a few times, traditional two berth M lounge. Or sleeper Lancashire. Now there are lots of two berths at the moment, aren't we? Is that is that a sign actually? The people who buy two berths are the ones who are sort of uh, still in the market. But who knows? Anyway, but that's a 12,000 mile from new 61 plate. It's an auto sleeper Nuevo with extra bits on it, and they sold them through Marquis. Called it the Lancashire. Anybody wants a second hand Compass 196? We had the new one over there at 68. This one here is two years old. Uh, it's done 17,000 miles, so it's in a bit of use, but it's got all the bits you'd want on it. It's in real good condition. It came in today. Uh, this will be 52.95, so you'll be saving what's that 15,000 pound over the new price. Again, six berth, six seat belt, three and a half ton. Um, good buy for somebody. Some very good buyers out here. And then finally, hobby fixed twin singles end washroom, very good quality. And a left-hand drive show on Sweet Maxi on a 64 plate. Uh, ideal if you've got a house in Europe. This gives you a drop-down front bed, which is really good. Transverse, island kitchen, separate shower with a big fridge freezer and an oven. And a full height garage around the other side. 
I've managed to somehow avoid these in my 20 years in the trade, so I've never had one before. I think it's really cool. If you want to go into Europe, what a good thing to have. That is a full height floor to ceiling garage with a vertical bike rack in it, so you can put bikes vertically in your garage. Very unusual. Still got plenty of used van conversions there. Partially because Luke, my salesman over there, has been busy not selling very much as normal. So that's the site. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes, yes, the site does look beautiful, Luke, because I've helped you do it. Yes. So um, yeah, so we've, Luke's been reserving the stock for all you lucky people by not selling it. So left-hand drive globe car with a fixed bed automatic. Our fixed bed dirtyweekender.com Citroen. That's a good buy for someone. 2018. One owner, high quality conversion with a fixed transverse bed and lounge Timberland. This just came in a couple of days ago. I love this. One of the last Transporter T4s. I think these were Caravelle based because it's got aircon, lovely BBS style alloy wheels, really nice metallic green. And it's a Bilbo conversion. Bilbo do stupendously good quality, very understated conversions. Very wide rock and roll bed to the rear side kitchen and say good cab spec for the time because it's got air con lucky windows lucky mirrors which you didn't tend to see i can't remember how much this is going to be but it'll be 22 to 95 or 21 to 95 it's the same age as this miami which i loved at 18 to 95 which is in fantastically good condition uh, same layout but that's it's just a bit posher isn't it uh, but that's why it's a few thousand more expensive Reduced price of all the Volkswagens, that started to sell some. Denby conversion there, these are all short wheelbase. A tin top sporty one, a pop top sporty one, a big wave that none of us can understand why it hasn't sold because it's a real good thing at the price. 32.95 on a high line, low miles, 34,000 miles. This one's got about nine seat belts in it. Sporty auto sleeper trooper. And then yet more campers around here, a couple of car derived ones. A leisure drive and another Denby, a beautiful Wellhouse Leisure converted uh, Toyota Alphard. Um, these are converted when they come into the country. This was only converted last December. Very high spec solar, lithium ion batteries, full leather trim. Uh, carpets have never been used. You've got petrol power blown air heating because these are petrol rather than diesel, so they're low emission zone compliant. Swivel passenger seat, you've got a big Sony European stereo put in as well. Uh, Aircon crews, Alphards were Japanese executive class people carriers basically, we didn't have the like in this country. A um, couple of other VWs here and the Fiat Scudo based Auto Cruise Pulse which I think this is really good because this is a 59 plate, 2010 registered. Factory converted from new on a Fiat Scudo which drives like a car, you sit down lower like a car because a Scudo is basically a car, incredibly economical, very popular with the taxi boys and converted by auto cruise from new so you've got the sliding bed mechanism for more storage, the fridge has never had the plastic taken off the front of it, uh, diesel power blown air heating and this we've reduced to 2195, it's got air con, six speed gearbox, if that was a Volkswagen it would be several thousand pound more and drive more like a van. Um, sensors at the back and a tow bar for a bike rack, so that's very good news. Um, so that's the state of the nation where we are, effectively early November. Um, over in the shop there we've got South Devon's biggest accessory shop. Uh, we've had some toilets put in as well. Big workshop down the bottom there, plenty of car parking. So yeah, it's all good. So come and see us at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon, have a look around contact us through the website and give us a call on that number there 01626 or the mobile number or give us an email or contact through the website and ask about anyone well real nice display of new and used motorhomes thank you very much goodbye